Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. We are exactly where we were when the last episode ended. Um, and we had just found like what seemed to be a treasure trove of fish inside this fish hole. And we will be eating it now. After we make a little fire for ourselves. We're gonna be we're gonna eat some of it and we are going to We're gonna eat it and then we're gonna take five kilos of it back to Jeremiah. Man, I tell you what, I did not think fishing was going to be so lucrative, but it has been a lucrative. You know what, instead of finishing the game, how about, instead of looking for my ex-wife, I just fish, and I sell fish to everybody. I can become the wolf's best friend. I think I could win over their trust if I just threw fish out of the door. Um, and they're like, man, this guy is the fish king. Hey, Steve, have you gone and visited the hut of the fish king recently? He uh, throws out fish all the time. He feeds us with his fish. He he loves the wolves of the land. He is a wolf lover. He is a wolf lover, not a wolf fighter. But he had but do get do do not get me wrong, Steve. He has killed us before, but it is because we attacked him. He is the god we did not know. He does not blame us for what we did. He is a benevolent god. A benevolent fish god. End scene. Did you like that? Hmm. God, we got so much fishy fish, fishy fish, 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 fish. Let's cook some of it. Alright, let's cook this smallmouth bass. We just gotta make sure we have enough for, um, what's his name? Fourteen hundred and six calories? That is crazy talk. That is a, so good. I guess it's five pounds of fish. I'm gonna eat that and feel real full. So right now we have plenty. We have plenty of this stuff. Heck, I say we fish a little bit more before bed. I don't see why not. Let's put some more, uh... Let's put some more fuel in the fire. And fish for a few more hours. Excuse me? What? No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 hold on now. Where did my fishing tackle go? Why would you do that? Okay, so I guess I lost it. I guess it's a random chance to lose it. Alright, that's frustrating, but at least we, now we know. We'll have to, our next fishing escapade will have to cure some gut, which will take forever. But, at least we can sleep here tonight. Air temperature's doing okay. Peckish. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's sleep for two hours and see if we need... If we're, we can stay warm. Alright, so we'll sleep. We'll sleep and the fire will have gone out. Da, 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 da. We're still good to go, so we'll sleep the other 10 hours. Well, first let's drink. Let's drink, get our get our drink on, fill up on drink, drink, drink. Bed roll, we will sleep for the sweet, delicious 10 hours. All those fish we caught had to be a product of... Okay, so yeah. Alright, so we got real cold. Understood. Okay, well, we can fix that right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Goddamn freezing. Didn't think that was going to be the case, but it makes sense. Makes sense. 
Okay, so what I'm assuming happened with the fish is that the game rewarded us for our first first time fishing, like as a on this mission. Are you serious? Okay, I'll use. I don't want to. No, I'm not in a dangerous situation, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stick with the the regular fire making technique. Um, I'm not gonna use accelerant here while I'm not dying yet. Not dying yet. Because if you've been watching, you have seen that there have been times where Accelerant really came in handy in starting a fire and keeping us from being dead. That didn't work. Wow, this is... Do I just have less skill with making fire now? Is that is that what it is? Come on now, just make a fire. You can do it. I know you're cold. I know you're cold, but you gotta make that fire, dude. <clears throat> well, that's regrettable. At least we didn't freeze to death. I have done that before. When playing the old survival mode, I've certainly gone to sleep thinking that I was going to be warm all night. Guess what? I got cold and froze to death overnight. And it doesn't wake you up. It doesn't wake you up and say, Hey, hey brother, you're cold. You're a cold boy. All right, let's cook this coffee. <sighs> let's see. Snow, the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. No, don't eat snow because you can drink. You can drink, and we'll warm up. Don't worry about that. And then we'll eat this bit of meat. And then we'll melt us some more snow. Don't worry about that at all. We'll melt us some more snow. We'll boil some water. And then we will get on our merry way back to Jeremiah. I was thinking about going to that supply cache, but I'd really just like to get this stuff done. And there's... Um... If we really need it, we look. how far is it from us? We are currently on the lake, and it's... I haven't even been here. I haven't even been here yet. There's a supply cache there, forest locker, mystery lake, frozen creek. Yeah, I haven't even been all these places. Um, that's okay. I think I'm pleased to just go ahead and try to head back to visit, uh... To visit Jeremiah. Where is Jeremiah's house? Oh. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a. Hmm. It's not really faster that way. I guess it is a little bit faster. All right, let's get on. We do have enough fish, don't we? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Plus some extra fish, really. Which is nice. That's, oh gosh. I'm not, I wasn't even going the right way. Well, I hear the howl of wolves. And I will... Equip this rifle with four bullets in it, just in case. Though, we're doing okay on health. We could get attacked again, because we don't have any issues. We don't have any ailments. Oh, boy. Don't like those wolf wolfy mit wolfers. Don't like them at all. Just gotta get back to Jeremiah's house. Will take f probably a long time because we're so heavy. Jeremiah's house was a bullfrog. Here's a question. I wonder if there's any more fishing line in this hunting lodge that I left there. I feel like there might be. 
I feel like I might have left it in frustration since um, I couldn't make it. And I still have my sapling. I don't know if you've seen me grab my sapling, but I know eventually I will make a bow and arrow, and I am very excited for that. Um, because I already have my maple sapling. I would love to drop some things to make this trip faster, but don't think that's going to happen because I'm weighted down with that sweet fish. Chugga lugga lugga lugga, chugga lugga lugga lugga, choo choo. Might as well put that away. A little bit of little, little major pain reference for you for you folks back home. A little, little major pain reference. I used to love that movie growing up. <clears throat> Major Pain. Fee five fo fum. What bean stalk you fall from? Yeah, that that movie very enjoyable. I'm sure if I watched it back now, it'd be like uh, this, this is the worst. But oh heck yeah, dude. Yes, sir. I did not even think about that. We're gonna craft that real quick. We got we got another fishing line just in case we need it, which is nice. Okay. Let's move on. I'm glad I thought to do that. But hey, if you're watching this video and you think, hey, him saying that movie from his childhood made me think of a new movie that I like from my childhood. Or maybe you just like you thought of all of Damon Wayne's films. Um either way, drop them in the comments. Tell me what your, what some child, the movies from your, from your young adultness or your, your childhood. I feel like when I say words like child, that's when I get, uh, I really reveal my southernness. Not that it's not revealed completely all the time. You know what? No, I'm not going to go that close. I'm not going to go that close to them. We're going to go the other way. But it's when I can tell. The I sounds. I. If I said I like this, maybe it would sound better. Maybe I'll talk like this for the rest of the videos. I'll do an over-exaggerated. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Leave me alone, sir. Please leave me alone. Please. Leave me alone, sir. I do not want to be hurt by you. Man, that, that devolved into like a British thing. Alright, well, this is this might get us somewhere. Hopefully. This wolf has chased me into a bottleneck where I may surely die. I'm warm, dude. Feeling good. Got that warmth. Oh boy, I I'll be honest with you. I like the Long Dark a lot. This is bec slowly becoming one of the the top games that I've played, but I'm just I'm a little bit weary of the go get things for me stuff. Like I wish Maybe there were some different kinds of quests or whatever. I mean, the basic game mechanic, though, is pick up things and eat them. Right? Like, there's not... There's not a whole lot of extra things you can do. You can, you found a, you can find a weapon. So... You can find a weapon so you can shoot things. But the goal of you shooting things is so you can pick them up and eat them. Um, so it's like, there's not a whole ton of extra things you can do, um, like you can't pick things up and move them, or whatever else is required to do different types of quests, so I understand. And it just, it does really highlight the world, and it shows, like, this, this game, the art style though is kind of like, 
what is it like low poly like everything's a little bit rough I guess that's not I don't think that's what that you call this but it's kind of cartoonish um but it looks really it's it's really beautiful like it's it definitely looks good um I don't even know what I was talking about I think I was talking about how it's one of my favorites but I am getting tired of go get this for me go get this for me go get this that's okay we're gonna get it done and we're gonna progress the story because that's what we do here whenever I tell a new employee that walks through the door of tank media games as they are wont to do um, cuz I re really just one person is not enough to satisfy our 11 subscribers um, one of which is my other YouTube channel. Maybe two. Um, regardless, they're, we need employees, and whenever a new employee walks through the door, um, I usually tell them, there's one thing we do here, Jack, and that's progress the story. So if you can't progress a story, you might as well just cut your losses and get out of here. To which they respond, sir, yes, sir. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, hopefully, before the end of this video. I'm hungry. How about a can of sardines? Those delicious, salty sardines. Hey! You guys remember when I dropped this piece of wood out here? I do. The North remembers when I dropped this piece of wood out here. Whether you do or not. But like, look at look at this game. It is, so, it is really pretty. There's a certain simple beauty to snow, snow saturated environments. Living in South Carolina, I do not get to experience those very much. I was going to say that I'm going on my honeymoon in Scotland in December, to Scotland in December, and I might get to see some snow there, but I also, I've learned that Scotland is not characterized by snowy winters. Its climate is just wet. So there's not a lot of snow, it's just, it's just wet there. Which is fine, I'm still excited. But I'm going to try to keep them uploads. Oh man, that's going to be tough. Ten days gone, not being able to upload. Oh, I think it's probably seven weekdays. Uh, but regardless, it's going to be a, long, a lot of videos to upload beforehand. Where am I going? There we go. Nope. Oh, don't hurt yourself, sir. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, we're gonna make it just in time. Guys, if you... If you watch this video, that's really the test of whether you're a fan or not. Because we literally, in this video, all we did was walk. Like, there's... We did nothing else. We cooked some fish, and we walked. Um, so, I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you for being a fan, if you are. If you are a fan, you have the opportunity to be the first fan and or the best fan. So we'll give him uh, how much is that? Yep, we did it. So we're going to keep the rest. We are going to keep the rest. Mm. We're going to cook it real fast. We'll cook it real fast, and then we'll talk to him. We'll get our mission for the clothes, and then maybe we'll... After that, we'll be able to go hunt the bear. Hey, we got a little oil from the fish. I didn't even think, didn't even think that would be a possibility. That's cool. Very cool. All right. Story. Survival. No, dang it. I didn't mean to quit that one. Yeah, no. 
Let's talk about what do you want to tackle. Aha, tackle. You know what you need to know about ice fishing now. Not much more I can tell you more. Oh my gosh. We have two more things to do. What do I need to know about clothing? It's cold out there. What you wear might make the difference between life and death. I'm listening. Wind, wind or wet will kill you if you let it. You wear wind blocking clothes on your outside layer if you can and use natural shelter whenever possible. Wind will drop your core temperature quickly and before you know it you'll have hypothermia or worse. What about wetness? That one's obvious. You get wet from snowfall, fall, falling through the ice, whatever. In these winters you'll get frostbite in no time. Wear waterproof clothing if you can, especially on your feet. If your clothes get wet, dry them out by a fire. That it? Almost. Think about carrying weight. The heavier your clothing, the less food and other supplies you can carry without getting tired. And remember, you want some tough layers to protect you from falls and animals, especially these days. It all makes sense. Great. Remember, though, it's not enough to have good gear if you don't take care of it. Needle and thread are your friends. Keep your clothing in good shape and they'll take care of you. Sacrifice any bad gear you find to keep your better gear in action. Got it. Good. Now prove it. Take this old park of mine. There's an old lookout tower just off the railway. Usually some forestry service gear in there. Use their supplies to repair my old parka. And I'm telling you, I understand about taking care of gear. The only way to know it is to do it, Mackenzie. Now get out there. But I... I already have the ability to repair your coat, I think. Quest items. Oh, I need cure black bear hide. Of course I do. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching this kind of boring video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.